This right here is a 2020 BMW M850i X Drive Grand Coupe. For those of you who don't know me yet, I am Samir Omar from BMW Toronto. And this gorgeous beast uh, is being delivered shortly. It's actually being uh, uh, delivered shortly to a really, really nice client, uh, very cooperative. So this video is specially for him, but for those of you considering uh, an M850, uh, this will help you quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do today is a quick walk around of this 2020 M850 Grand Coupe. Uh, go over the standard features, what comes with one, and then go over exactly how this particular one is packaged. And then we're gonna get inside and go through the entire setup. So you, uh, for those of you who are thinking of picking one up or just recently had one delivered, or for this particular customer, you would know exactly how to customize the vehicle to your personal preferences. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get on it. I'm gonna do a quick walk around right here. Just take a quick, uh, nice look at this gorgeous paint. Uh, this is called a Dravid Gray Metallic. Uh, it's a really uh, nice dark gray uh, with golden metallic chips uh, within the paint, uh, which you can probably see here in the sunlight. So if I get really close, you can see that right there. See how gorgeous this paint is. All right, the carbon fiber elements right here. These are 21, 20 inch uh, BMW individual wheels. So really, really special wheels. And that's where it says uh, BMW individual right there. This customer even ordered the floating wheel caps. So if you guys didn't know, yes, you could do that. You can order floating wheel caps with your car. Right, you have uh, carbon fiber elements right there on the mirror caps as well. All right, so let's go over what comes standard with this car uh, if you order just a base car, for instance. So in a 2020 BMW M850i X-Drive Grand Coupe, remote engine start is standard. You get the 20 inch M light alloy wheels style 728M. Uh, these are obviously different individual wheels. Uh, M Sport brakes, M Sport differential, tire pressure monitor, tire repair kit, integral active steering, adaptive M suspension, adaptive roll stabilization, and uh, rear steering, alarm system, universal remote control, comfort access, soft closed doors, panorama sunroof, electric rear sunshades, side and rear sunshades multifunctional seats for driver and front passenger, stainless steel fabric trim, seat heating front and rear, heat comfort package for the front, automatic four zone climate control, uh, high beam assistant, driving assistant, BMW laser headlights, park assistant plus with surround view, Sirius XM satellite radio tuner, Harman Kardon sound system, intelligent emergency call, teleservices, Connected package professional, wireless charging with extended Bluetooth and USB, BMW Life Cockpit Professional, Wi-Fi hotspot, M leather steering wheel, M aerodynamics package, high gloss black window surround, anthracite Alcantara roof liner, high speed uh, maximum with performance tires. Now this particular one has the executive package in there which gives you the ventilated seats, glass application, crafter clarity for interior elements which is basically the crystal shifter on the gear, uh, on the gear, uh, the volume control, I drive control, and the start stop button. Uh, traffic, sorry, driving assistant professional and traffic jam assistant as well. Of course, these are the 20 inch BMW individual light alloy wheels, V spoke, uh, style 73730, uh, with performance run flat tires. Piano black wood trim with satin chrome highlight on the inside also has the BMW drive recorder 
M carbon exterior package, high gloss black kidney grills with extended contents. Again, the color is a Dravid gray metallic. And for the interior, we picked the BMW individual black extended merino leather. So premium all the way. All right, let's open it up. Guys, notice that carbon core. Uh, electric side sunshades and the electric uh, rear sunshade as well. Look at that console, USB-C charging, heated seats for the back, temperature controls, uh, ambient lighting. A uh, very deep, huge trunk space, and the seats can be folded down as well. Look how gorgeous this paint is. I just love the Dravid Gray Metallic. All right, so key is in my pocket. We do have comfort access. I can just kick under the rear bumper, right in the center, smooth kick in and out. And the auto trunk closes for you. We'll close up all the doors, get inside and go through the setup. You have your seat memory for driver one, driver two, lock and lock. Uh, the rear sunshade uh, button right there, all window settings, mirror settings. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system, trunk release right there. And your hood release right here. Pull it twice and the hood pops open. These are all your light settings right here. Uh, your advanced driver assistance stuff is right here. Active cruise and lane keep assist and everything active from here. Your heated steering wheel right there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, give it some gas. All right, so mainly uh, how you would uh, custom tailor the car to your personal preferences. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through this screen right here, which is the iDrive. The car does come with uh, just the controls. If you listen, if you uh, listening, there is music on right now. I can just point my finger to the screen. There's a camera right above me right here. That's the camera. So as long as you're under it within that vicinity, the camera is watching your finger movement and allow you to do these gestures. So one full circle clockwise is volume up, just like so. And then one full circle volume 
uh, anti-clockwise is volume down just like that see that And uh, you can also use uh, this gesture right here to mute, unmute. So mute, or actually it's set up to switch off the screen so it's customizable. Uh, you can set it to mute, unmute, to switch off the screen or take you home if you have your home address set up, different things you can allow it to do. So this gesture again is customizable. All you're doing is point to the screen uh, and see it switches off the screen and it switches back on there we go uh, another gesture is your thumb move it right that's next station or next track so, so left is previous station previous track very simple to use and we'll go through more of that um, another cool feature this car has is if your ventilation is set to auto which is important for this to work uh, let's see if it work if I've activated voice command uh, hey BMW vitalize me no problem I have activated the vitality program so if you notice uh, my ventilated seats came on full speed, the temperature dropped to 18 and the air flow is fluctuating up and down. Uh, ambient lighting changed to green, music changed to something nice and vibrant to kind of wake me up. And let's do the other thing. Uh, hey BMW, relax me. All right, I have activated the relaxation program. Now in this mode, you'll notice that the actually the panorama sunroof is uh, shutting for me. The shade to kind of darken it, to kind of relax me, calm me down. Temperature went up to 23, warming it up. Ventilated seats, temperature went down. So speed went to one. Ambient lighting changed to orange. So really cool stuff that the car can do for you. Let me end this program right here. I think we're getting a bit of uh, sun glare. Uh, let me see if I can move the car a bit. There we go, that's better. All right, so we'll go through this setup uh, one at a time. Uh, so let's go to media. Uh, let me turn the volume down a bit. And the media is right now your Sirius XM radio is active. Uh, you have FM, AM, music collection, Bluetooth, audio, screen mirroring, mobile devices, personal menu, that kind of stuff. Uh, Communicom is basically your communication, which is uh, talking about your phone right here. So again, if you want to pair your phone uh, for you, Mr. Customer, who's picking up the car or for anyone else, uh, obviously, if voice command is activated, you can just talk to your car and it will take you there. For example, let's try this. Hey BMW, pair my phone. <clears throat> Connect new device. Please and it takes you to the screen, so you would go click on new device, phone calls, and audio. Switch on your Bluetooth settings on your phone and look for BMW 21164 and then follow the prompts. Make sure all the prompts you get accept. And even say if you're using Apple CarPlay, do accept that if you're an iPhone user, otherwise, Apple CarPlay won't work. All right. <clears throat> uh, a lot of other things that the car can do where you can talk to your car. Uh, for example, if you're looking for an address or for a restaurant or something like that, it would do that. So while I'm on that topic, let's talk about it. Uh, let's try it out. Hey, BMW, 11 Sunlight Park Road. Perfect. Our next destination is 11 Sunlight Park Road, Toronto, Ontario. So guys, it's simple as that. Uh, just talk to your car and it will do things for you. Now, obviously I don't wanna go, I am already here. This is uh, the address of our dealership, so I'm gonna deactivate that. And again, that I can do by talking to the car. Hey BMW, cancel guidance. 
I've ended the guidance. All right, let's try something else. Uh, hey, BMW. Hey, BMW. Find me a pizza place. Which one of these restaurants should I select? All right, simple as that, guys. So, yeah, use your car, talk to it. It's really, really handy. Really, uh, it, it really understands you, picks up on different dialects and accents. The more you talk to your car, the better and better it gets. Okay, so basically, yeah, uh, you can go into communication to make sure Apple CarPlay works in your car. You go into com, under communication, come under mobile devices, uh, click on uh, settings, and then make sure Apple CarPlay is uh, checkmarked for you. All right, so that's where it's recognizing my phone in the car. Uh, nav is your navigation, of course. You can do your personal settings right here. You can manually enter the address right here where to or just talk to your car like I did. Uh, but let's say we want to do it manually. You can obviously rotate the iDrive controller, which is this dial, rotate it and watch on the screen. You can select different alphabets and then depress in to select or another option is i can use my finger and write with this it's also a touchpad so i can use that and look on the screen s pops up and then i can write a u and then u pops up if i make an error just swipe left delete swipe left delete to create a space swipe right and it creates a space so simple as that i can obviously come close to the screen and i'll bring out a touchpad as well so i can touch and type that in as well so a lot of ease of entering different stuff but let's go under nav i'm gonna go under uh map settings right here uh the view is perspective mode which i like which you can see behind it brings up some 3d mapping of the buildings and stuff and all your uh icons right here are check marks i will show you all those on this on the maps but if you don't want to see certain things you can always deactivate it you can always customize if you want to take toll route no toll route ferries that kind of stuff you can all deactivate or activate all that uh, so look at this right here if i zoom in and zoom out i can zoom in and brings up all the 3d mapping of the building so it's really really cool very nice nav on this car uh, let's go into car actually before car let's go to apps uh, install apps and over here, this car has the drive recorder, which I believe I did activate earlier. But to show you, for those of you uh, uh, getting a car with the drive recorder built in, so this is basically your, your dash cam system, which is using all your four cameras around. So the front, the back, and the two sides to give you a recording in case of a collision or if you wanted to manually activate a scenic route. So in case of a collision, let's see how it's set up. So recording allowed before trigger 20 seconds and after trigger 20 seconds. So maximum of 40 seconds is what you can get. Obviously, you can do it a shorter one too, but I would keep it at 40. So say you have a collision, it will pre-record the previous 20 seconds before the collision and then 20 seconds right after. So you'll get a full 40 second recording. All right, and if you wanted to manually activate that, you would push and hold the camera button here for a few seconds and it will manually start recording that. Okay, so then just in case you're driving through a scenic route and you don't wanna be distracted while driving or pick up your phone to record, you can have the car record for you. All right, so let's go on the car, which is where the brains of the car is now, mainly all the setup. Uh, all right, so... Um, for you the customer who's picking up the car or for those who don't know about this uh, before you pick up your car you'll get an email from bmw connected use that email uh, guide uh, go through that setup download the connected app and set it up with your email address and login id then you would come under driver profiles and then log in here with add driver profile and then your car and your phone will be in sync together and you'll be able to do a lot of stuff there Okay, so let's go into settings, uh, general settings. Let's go all the way up. Date and time set to auto. Uh, date format, day, month, and year. You can obviously customize that or how you want to see that. 
uh, time right now is for Toronto, Montreal, but obviously you can set it up for your province or your country that you're in. <clears throat> language, guys, this is good. This uh, you should do. Go into language, click on online speech processing, speech during voice input, <coughs> and the wake word, of course, which is activation with hello BMW or hey BMW. <coughs> I'm just going through this uh, to show you, yeah, you can set up personal stuff, uh, which is pretty basic. This is what we use in Canada, kilometers and uh, everything. So it's set up to Canadian cars. Obviously, if in the U.S., you can change it to miles and all that. Uh, sound settings is your stereo sound system. It has a Logic 7 surround, Harman Kardon sound system. So obviously, you can set up your uh, personal preference here of how you would like to listen to your music. Uh, just to control what I was doing earlier, here is where the function keys are. Uh, so control, I'm going to switch this to mute or play. Uh, that was this gesture right here. Uh, so you see that? It works now. Uh, but obviously you can uh, change it to whatever you prefer. From factory, it comes to mute and play. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and then there is this gesture as well, uh, what you can see on the screen. So open up all your five fingers. Uh, close it to a uh, fist and then open up again and then if you have your home address set it will take you there or you can set it up to do these uh, certain things right here touchpad refers to to this that is your touchpad as well uh, driver attention camera is active which is referring to that camera right there in the middle uh, which is watching the driver for attention <clears throat> Getting started is like unwrapping a new phone and setting up from scratch, but that's exactly what I'm doing. So uh, you could follow that or just follow my instructions, which are pretty uh, detailed. Uh, fatigue and focus alert is set to sensitive. Uh, so if you're swerving a bit too much on the highway, say you're tired and swerving too much, a hand's going to stick out of the dash and slap you across the face to wake you up. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it will it will tell you maybe pull over, grab a coffee. And the car will recognize that you're getting tired, so it'll, it'll suggest a stop for you. <clears throat> uh, engine sound in this car, yes, you can keep it to sporty all the time, balance reduced, or depending on driving mode. Your driving mode refers to these buttons right here. Oopsie. Uh oh, camera malfunction there. So your driving mode refers to, let's say these buttons right here, sport, comfort, eco pro and adaptive. So when you go under uh, sport mode, the sound of the engine will sound a little more deeper through the air, including the exhaust. Comfort is more relaxed. Eco pro is your fuel efficient mode and adaptive is your uh, road preview mode where it will look at the road ahead and adjust the suspension accordingly to make it a more comfort drive uh, data privacy i would recommend keeping this on that's how you will gather all the information on your phone app and the car will coordinate well or you can go and customize it and do individual selection but you'll find yourself uh, finally setting up checking all the boxes there because you need that uh, mobile devices uh, wireless charging tray activate reminder so right under here uh, right there that tray is a wireless charging tray where you start drop your phone in there if your phone is equipped wireless charging it will charge wirelessly that's the second key right there one's in my pocket which i'm using and that card there is also a digital key which is a credit card style key which i've activated which you can use to gain access to the car from the outside Come in the car, put it in that tray within 30 seconds, start the car, and you're good to go. You'll be able to drive with that. All right, now let's go on the driving mode, sport individual, eco, pro individual, sport individual. You can configure to your personal settings. I'm going to leave it at factory settings right here, but you could come in here and customize it. Same with the eco pro as well. This is your fuel efficient mode. <clears throat> Uh, exterior lighting, uh, all set up to factory. Pathway lighting is good to know if you have a long driveway after you've parked your car. Uh, you could uh, uh, you could set it up to where your headlights stay on for longer than 20 seconds or as low as 10 seconds. 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at the factory default at uh, 20 seconds right here. Okay, and if you don't like the door handle lights coming on or the welcome and goodbye lights coming on on the doors, uh, things like that, you can switch it off, all right? Uh, driver assistance, so safety and warning. I've set it up to the safest setting for all. You can obviously custom tailor it. Uh, so you can access it from the menu where I just went or this quick access button here, right here with the car and the green circle around it, which means uh, if there's a green light, that means all are on. If it's amber, uh, or orange then that means one of one or more of the features is deactivated so front collision uh, mitigation set to early side collision warning on lane departure warning uh, to early steering intervention uh, for lane departure warning active blind spot detection with steering intervention everything is active right now obviously if you're taking it to a track or if you're a performance driver you may want to switch off some of those features but again uh, be uh, be wary that those features are off for you uh, speed limit assistance, I've set it up to show current limit or it can adjust manually depending on the street uh, speed limit there. Uh, warn when exceeding speed and exceed uh, excess speed display, everything is on for you. Uh, steering assistance, so automatic lane change is active, driving driver attention camera is active. Now to show all these features, how they work on the road, I do have another video uh, actually driving this exact vehicle on the road showing you how those features work so please see that video and you'll know exactly how the whole suite of the advanced driver assistance package on this vehicle works which is amazing uh, assisted driving view is also on uh, which is active right here uh, my parking and maneuvering let's see automatic pdc activation is your park distance control which is your parking sensors it's active active pdc with brake intervention so when the car is parallel and perpendicular parking itself or you are and the car notices any movement for emergency purposes it will break if a kid ran through or a cyclist uh, or a pet or someone just sitting in a car open their door or something the car will break uh, automatic parking alert if parking space is detected so when you activate park assistant it will alert you if your space is detected and the car can then take over and park itself. Cross traffic warning is active. Panorama view GPS base is active. Volume PDC signal, which is your beep, beep, beep volume for your sensors. I'm going to leave it to factory settings. Of course, you can go louder if you wanted to. Steering wheel feedback is set to strong and the light elements are activated as well. Just like it shows on the screen, uh, these lights right here. Uh, they would illuminate with steering assistance and if you have someone in your blind spot or something and you're still going your steering will vibrate uh, to show you that there's someone still there don't go if you manage to ignore the uh, little triangle on the on the side mirrors uh, displays okay let's do head up display head up display if you can't see there we go up in the screen i don't know if you can see that it picks up the street speed limit and then your speed limit beside it. Obviously, you can do your music selection right there. You can scroll to your recent call list right there. A lot of stuff you can do on your head-up display. So that's what that's referring to. If you're not a fan of that, you can come in here and deactivate it or reactivate it right here. Uh, you can obviously set up the brightness, the height, the rotation. So it will tilt in different angles. Uh, so if you sit in an angle, you can kind of cater it to yourself. Uh, and what all it would show you on the head-up display. So when you go to sport, it will show you a sport uh, display, a so sport mode and the head-up display. <clears throat> Instrument panel is referring to your gauge cluster right here. So you can uh, display different views in the, between there. So let's see if I go to off, it's completely off. I can, uh, let's go switch it on. I can display the maps right there. So a nice map view. I can display the route preview, so I'll be showing you turn-by-turn -turn directions. And then I prefer the assisted driving view because that's more helpful, so I leave that on. But of course, you can custom tailor it to your personal needs. Uh, converted speed, you can switch it on. So it'll show you miles per hour below it. So if I deactivate it, see it goes away. Right above that is zero kilometers per hour, and you can activate miles. So if you do travel to the US a lot, or if you are 
in the US you'll probably see miles per hour above and you can activate kilometers per hour below that all right uh, control display is, re uh, is referring to this screen that we're looking at the only thing you can do is turn it off or adjust the brightness <clears throat> driving mode view are activated so when you go to let's say so we are in comfort so look at that screen uh, when i go to sport it changes the colors to red when i go to eco pro it will change to blue so that's what that refers to uh, driving mode so that view is active uh, doors and access the digital key what i was talking about the credit card style key down below uh, which is active. This is where you would come and activate it. I've already activated it. You can obviously come and deactivate them here too. Uh, comfort access right now it's set to when you walk close to your car, uh, it will unlock when you approach it. And when you walk away, it will lock when you walk away. Okay. Uh, so it's set up to that. If you're not a fan of that feature, you can deactivate it and stick to the regular where you grab the door handle and it unlocks for you. When you shut the door, there are three uh, small ridges on the door. I just put one finger there and that will allow you to lock the door. Oops, I deactivated that. Let's go. Okay, so all these uh, are active as well. Uh, you can go through this even with the fold mirrors in when car locks and when the car unlocks, the mirrors will uh, unfold. Uh, I've deactivated unlock at end of trip uh, for safety. Uh, just in case uh, it's late at night, you're by yourself, you come and park somewhere and maybe someone is hiding, trying to attack you or get in the car so the car doesn't automatically unlock. Uh, so when you pull the door handle, it would unlock then. If you feel it's not safe, then you can drive away, right? So that's why it's deactivated. Now also for those of you living in really cold climates where it gets a really freezing temperature, a lot of ice and snow or where we are in canada yes uh, it will start happening here very soon at that time i would recommend coming down here and deactivating this feature fold mirrors in when locked deactivate that so that the mirrors don't always fold in and fold out because if there's ice or something jammed in there it's going to be a lot of stress on those motors you don't want to ruin it trust me if you ruin it because of that warranty will not cover that so be careful of that uh interior lighting Obviously, this too, you can talk to your car and tell the car, hey, BMW, change ambient lighting, and it will do it. Uh, but obviously, you can manually come in here and change the different colors. So you have bronze, bronze and white, orange, orange and white, white, blue, blue and white, green, green and white, lilac, lilac and white. I've set it up to lilac right here. I feel it looks really, really nice. But again, uh, to each their own. So you may have a different preference and you can obviously change that. Uh, brightness set to highest i like them bright in the night time as well dynamic light is on and dimmed for night driving is deactivated of yours if you want it dimmed for night driving you can activate this right here uh climate control this is very key guys this is where you would activate your remote engine start yes the car does have remote engine start so again i'll show you you come under climate control go all the way down preconditioning and ventilation and then again scroll all the way down to remote engine start and make sure you check mark that it will give you uh, it, it will read you a disclaimer and then you press on OK and that will activate your remote engine start so if I'm outside the car I can uh, push the lock button here three times so one, two, three, and let go, and the car will remote engine start. If I don't want to go, I can switch it off the same way. So one, two, and three, and it will deactivate that. I mean, switch off the engine. Uh, also, a lot of customization here where you can go under heating and ventilation. Uh, so you can preset a lot of things for driver, front passenger, second row seats, all of that good stuff. Uh, you can obviously synchronize synchronize will always be to driver master control everything will be synchronized to that seat and armrest heating for driver passenger climate control rules uh preconditioning range. so a lot of stuff you can customize you can customize it to where if the temperature drops below uh, uh like it's negative one or whatever or 20 degrees or you know you want it to a certain temperature it, you can activate that so the heating will automatically come on or the cooled 
uh, the AC will automatically come on, that kind of stuff. <coughs> Keys and buttons. So this is probably the end of it. So I've set it up to driver door only. You could set it up to all doors, which means when you push the unlock, all doors unlock or just the driver door. Again, for safety purposes, I've kept it to the driver door only. But if you're always driving around with people, with family, you can leave it to all doors so all have easy access. Or when you approach the car, just grab the rear door handle versus the front. It will unlock all the doors. Or push twice the unlock button on the key fob and it will unlock all the doors. So a lot of options there. Tailgate refers to the trunk. So again, when you unlock the trunk, it's just the trunk, not the tailgate and the doors. Okay. And that's about it to that. Again, I do this every day. So if I've missed something, please do write me in the comments below. And I will uh, be I will be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, or if it requires a video, well, when time permits, I will make another video for you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, I mean, here, yeah, I wanted to show you the crystal elements, uh, the crystal gear shifter right here. It's gorgeous. It's on the iDrive controller as well. It's on the start stop button as well and on the volume knob right there as well so a really really gorgeous car uh, congrats to this customer picking up uh, very jealous uh, beautiful 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 car uh, very premium all right for those of you uh again tuning into my channel for the first time if you haven't done so already i would really really appreciate if you guys can subscribe to the channel uh, like the video, click on the bell icon for notifications of informative content like this. And do comment below of what you like, what else you would like to see. And I would be happy to help you help answer those questions for you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to end this video by going out the car and maybe do a remote engine start on this. Right, so watch as I walk away, the car will lock itself as the key is in my pocket. There we go. And let's try the remote engine start. Uh, so here is the key. And I'm going to push on this button three times. So one, two, three, and let go. All right. And the car starts for you. That's how you remote engine start your car. So my plan was to go out, uh, go for a drive or go to work and plans just change. I changed my mind. I don't want to go out right now so I can from inside my home switch off the vehicle as well. It's the same button. The BMW logo is your lock. So push that three times. So one, two, three and let go. And the car switches off for you. Simple as that. Again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below of what you like, what else you would like to see, and click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Thank you.